think uh, looking in the past, I think it's been very important to tennis. And I remember, you know, watching the rivalry between Bjorn Borg and Connors and McEnroe. And uh, I've, you know, I've been in rivalry myself. And um, it's been, you know, Boris Becker. Uh, we had a lot of uh, tough matches during our career. We met in three Wimbledon finals and. Uh, about the same age, we grew up at the same time, and we were always sort of looking at one and another, what uh, he was doing, what I was doing. And I think we sort of pushed each other to, to success. Uh, so it was a great ride, rivalry, and then after that, uh, you had Sampras and Agassi, and, and today, you know, you got Nadal and Federer. So these rivalries is very important to tennis, I believe. Um, well, I think there is one player, it's probably is Roger Federer. He plays a little bit like I did. He plays with a, basically the same racket. Uh, he's a pretty cool person on court. And uh, that's, that's sort of the, the player that I look up to the most. He's a fantastic player, both on and off court. And uh, seems to be very level-headed and um, you know, a great player to, to admire. I believe um, a serve and volley can always be successful, but it takes quite a lot of time to develop the game. And I think if I were to play today, I wouldn't play serve and volley to the extent that I did when I was playing, because at that time it was possible. Today, I think if you can have a player that sort of can, can be a serve and volley player 50% of the time, I think he would have a great advantage of playing in today's game, though, because Basically, you know, everybody's got a pretty big serve today, but you know, there is nobody following up the serve with a volley, so it takes a lot of pressure off the, the return of serve. Uh, so, have somebody play serve and volley, you know, half the time and mix it up at the same time, I think you could get a lot of free points. Um, I think. Uh, Hopefully, you know, there'll be a little bit more variation in, in the game of tennis, and hopefully there'll be some more, more like a serve and volley players, and uh, that would be helpful for the game. But I think, in, in a way, you know, it, tennis is pretty popular as it is now. You've got some great players, but you need, uh, I think, what is more important, that you have a few new players coming behind Nadal and Federer. You've got Murray, you've got Djokovic, and maybe somebody else, a younger one, to come forward. Uh, Hopefully from the US would be great for the game of tennis. Uh, so it doesn't need to change a lot, but a little bit more variation in the game would uh, be helpful, I think. Uh, first memory, tennis memory probably goes back to actually being in the sort of the day of tennis, we call it back in Sweden, where you sort of got introduced to tennis, uh, where you got to just hit a few balls um, with a big coach at the time. Uh, you were very small at the time, I was about seven, I think that's, that's quite a memory f which I remember and, and also a tournament I played in Sweden at 11 years of age, it was called Donald Duck Tournament, which was the biggest tournament uh, that you could play in Sweden. And uh, I've never been in Borsta. Uh, I made a final and I won it that year and it was a huge experience as a young kid. It's hard to pick out the moment, but um, if from, from my time when I grew up watching Borg Wimbledon finals and actually to be there yourself to, to win your first Wimbledon title, it is a great memory and it's, it's, it's a great time to finish that match point and, and have that feeling of, of winning Wimbledon and, and, uh, and kissing the trophy, um, good feeling. And short shorts um, could could well do. Uh, they're getting longer and longer, but at some point they're gonna turn to get shorter and shorter. So it's a possibility. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Wilson racket to me has been probably the most re reliable tool in my life. Uh, it's brought me a lot of success, and I've probably played with one of the best rackets that's ever made in history. Uh, the pro staff. Uh, I played with it, reaching number one. Uh, Jim Courier, number one. 
Pete Sampras, number one, and actually Roger Federer, number one, is basically the same racket. So uh, that's the key to Wilson.